and what we're going to do is we're going to refine that mask by clicking where it says mask edge in the masks panel mask edge and now you can see that you have a new panel here named refine mask and what I'm going to do is I'm going to well first of all by pressing the F key I can change the different modes of viewing this image as you can see you can toggle this one allows me to see this very very well so I'm gonna use that mode and I'm going to increase the radius and you can see how like automatically it becomes a lot better second what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show the radius to see how the radius is showing up and what I'm going to do in the areas that need refinement I'm going to use this this new tool that is the the expand direction area tool to call it something uh, basically it allows you to just uh, expand the area where you have uh, to recalculate the edge alright let's do that well, let's do that let's do a little bit here kind of recalculating that edge all right and uh, let's do that and as you can see now you can see how like the hairs have been selected properly here uh, I need a little bit there so that I see the background there and there and finally there it's actually there much better and now with this adjustment so I can actually smooth it out a little bit and I'm going to add a little bit of contrast but not too much I'm gonna feather it out a little bit and shift the edge inwardly I can also de decontaminate the colors which basically means that the background sometimes uh, changes the color in the edge so I can decontaminate the image from that color 50% is it's okay in this case the background was white so the contamination is going to occur in the color white and uh, sure enough I can get rid of this previous one and as you can see it looks so much better now And now I can do, you know, different refinements to the to the background itself. I can make it darker. I could, you know, make it the color that I want. I could apply different filters to it. Uh, for example, I can apply a mask that has a hue saturation refinement so I can change the color of the background and show it to the client in different hues and see which one is the one that I'm going to be most ple pleased with for example if, if it's something for a branding campaign for teenagers I may use a pink image if it's something a little bit more like for example for college then I might use something in the hues of blues that represent the uh, solid education and things like that uh, if I'm going with a green campaign uh, for conservation of national parks or something like that then I can obviously use something that would be more towards towards that and, and so forth so the benefit of a technique like this separating the background from the foreground in, in something like this is that it allows you the control of the background and it makes an image that maybe was a little bit flat it allows you to use it in a better way I hope that you enjoy this and I hope that it uh, provides value for you in your projects moving forward thank you and have a great day